Welcome back to my channel. It is the month of love. And if it's not the month of love for you, maybe it's Singles Awareness Month. What? But even if you're feeling like you're in the depths of despair, no worries because I have a new favorite cane for you. Now, this type of cane I have literally been searching for. This is in large part what I was doing most of the cane reviews for. I was looking for a type of cane that I could make it through six to eight hours of rehearsal. Um, sometimes that includes a concert in that six to eight hours. And I could get a dark, dense sound, but the cane was not too hard. It was not too soft. It offered a density of colors from the very get-go, and it has key elements that tell you when to scrape the reed. Now, if you aren't excited yet, you should be excited because I have been looking for this cane in order to film my Scrape a Read With Me video. Now, I've been not filming a Scrape a Read With Me video largely because soft cane I leave heavier, hard cane I scrape lighter. So I will treat different styles of cane ever so slightly differently in order to compensate for the soft cane's uh, weakness. Um, and the hard cane, I will end up scraping more off of it in order to help it so that it's not so resistant. So I've been looking for a cane that was in the middle and that way you guys could order this type of cane and do the scraper read with me video and have similar results because if I had done the scraper read with me video and I had used hard cane and you used soft cane and you did all of the same steps and followed all of the same measurements, we could end up with results that were not similar at all, that just did not work out. So I was looking for a type of gouge shaped and profiled, specifically cane, and cane that was consistent, and cane that, as I said, was not too hard, but it wasn't too soft either. And I found it. So we should be progressing nicely towards our goal of getting a scrape a read with me video. Okay, so let's talk about this style of cane and what I ordered and what I love about it and a few of the things that I would suggest maybe being a little bit careful with. This cane is Donati Cane from Barton Cane. It retails for about $5 per piece. I say about $5 a piece because if you do buy it in bulk, you can ask for specific things like, I actually request that mine comes non-scored, um, and then they also will do a smaller price variable in order to, you know, help you out because you just bought a lot of cane. And you know me, I go through reads pretty quickly. So what I loved about this cane, this cane was, from the moment you clip the tip, full of density of colors and the colors were not necessarily bright. It offered darkening sounds as it broke in. For those of you that have watched me for a while on Instagram or social media, I did post a video right around Thanksgiving when I was just starting to test this cane on um, me, and I said it's a pterodactyl, but there's just this bird and he's ah! in the background. That was after clipping the tip on the reed the day before. And I was already willing to post a video of me breaking the cane in and playing on it. So it had darkened up nicely, even by day two of playing on it. The nice thing about this style of cane is it tells you when to scrape it. After you have played on it for a little bit and you leave it to dry, you'll see the pithy fibers raise out of the cane. It, they'll just, they'll come to the surface and it will look like you have a castle wall coming out of the reed. What was smooth before is no longer smooth and it has these pithy fibers that just, it's like the cane is growing. It's easily identifiable and visual to the eye and can be quickly removed with something as simple as sandpaper, which is fantastic. This will darken the sound as you break it in as well. So I am already giving you the scrape or read with me video. I'm giving you tips and tricks on this cane, <laughs> but it's so good. I can't help myself. If you decide to leave it as it is stiffening up, I mean, you do want to remove those pithy fibers, but if you still want to leave it on the heavier side, it will darken. It will just consistently get darker and darker and darker. 
If you know that you want less resistance on it, you can scrape it down as it begins to darken and you can get a little bit more of that brighter sounds to it. So you have a variety on the style of cane. It's neither just dark or bright. You can get both colors out of this. I have been able to use this for principal bassoon playing as well as second bassoon playing. It is great with response. It is not as dry and secco as Barton Kane's Gonzalez Kane. Uh, the Gonzalez Kane I got from them is very secco and bright in comparison for me than this Donati is. Some of the key things that I would suggest watching out for. Every now and again, there are a couple of pieces that will have hyperpigmentation. Now, out of all of the bundles I've gotten, I would suggest maybe like three out of maybe 200 had hyperpigmentation. So it's rare, but I'm not gonna say it hasn't happened. Another thing I would suggest watching out for is that the cane is fragile. I say it's fragile because when I did a bit of hand gouging, even though the cane was supported, as I did the hand gouging with the sandpaper and cork wrapped around it, the bit where the piece of cane folds over on three pieces cracked in half. It just, it broke apart um, just because it was so delicate where the fold over had already happened. That is just the fragility of the cane and just be gentle with it and fold it over as minimal as possible before you make the blank. Another bit that I would also say watching out for is to, if you can, try to get this cane unscored. I say try to get it unscored because the first few pieces that Barton had sent me had already been scored because they were trial pieces. In all honesty, those pieces were free and I have spent a significant amount, like on, I think I've bought 200 pieces since then out of my own personal money. So I would not be endorsing this just because I got free cane. But I will say that the cane that I did have that was scored was very prone to cracking and it was prone to cracking down the center of the reed. The problem I had with the cracking down the center of the reed, because you guys are asking why I'm obsessed with it, this cane was so fragile that many of those that cracked down the center, I had issue with those reeds leaking. When I say they were leaking, I did not get an air seal. So you're trying to put all of the air through the reed to go directly into the bassoon, and the reed on the vocal is giving a slight hissing sound, like a, a tire that's leaking. This tire that's leaking means you're not getting all of the sound for your air, but it also is, for me, slightly distracting while playing. So watch out for the fragile of the cane and be careful to maybe add in the crosshatch scoring so that there's less possibility of the cane actually cracking into the blade and doing any leaking. You might also consider doing a little bit of sanding at the base of the tube to make sure you get a really good seal. I do this before I ever do the wrapping of the reed so that I make sure that I get good dimensions that are consistent each time. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this special love video for the holiday season, and maybe it has made you a little bit happier about the cold months of February as we are all hoping to get into spring if you're at all like me. I just, I want the daffodils to bloom tomorrow. If you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any experiences working with Donati Kane, I would love to hear from you. Please leave me a comment about your experiences. It's just a wealth of knowledge and my reviews are made even better by your reviews. I love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you want to keep up on all of my adventures, the things that I'm trying, what's happening in my life, the gigs that I'm playing, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!